making some pork tenderloin today. That's cooking. We're going to prepare the uh, vegetables we're going to have. And our vegetables today will be carrots and green beans. Okay, for carrots and green beans, first thing you want to do is cut the ends off your green beans. It's getting about time to flip that meat over. And we'll finish this. Now we'll get the carrots ready. Now a lot of the recipes and stuff you have will tell you to take the skin off the uh, on, or the carrot, I don't know why you call them onions, but I don't do that because that's where all the nutrients are. And if you want to eat something and eat healthy, you leave that on. Okay, we got to slice these up here. There we go. meat's probably about done. What we're going to do is put it on a cooking sheet that has a uh, cooking spray on tin foil. Put our meat on it, put it in the oven, and we'll set the uh, thing to let us know when it goes off. I believe, what is it, uh, 100, at least, at least 145 degrees. your uh, carrots get them in there okay well we're waiting for them to cook let's get our garlic out and get it ready got two little cloves of garlic here so let's get them cut up and ready to go Yeah, they're 
starting to soften up a little bit. Let's go ahead now and add our green beans and garlic. And then we're going to add a little salt, about a half a tablespoon it says. And some pepper. Just sit there and cook a little bit. Okay, now we're going to make our sauce while we're letting that stuff cook. About a medium heat. Right over here. This is a light cream. We're going to add that to our to our pan and get a nice boil to it. Go ahead and. Heat that cream up to a boiling. Then we'll stir in the basil. Got some basil. And, uh, well, I don't know. I think it's some sort of cheese myself. Yeah, it's a cheese. Parmesan and whatever. I don't know. Basil and, yeah, some lingo. Yeah, we'll stir those two things in it and make a creamy sauce. Okay, we do definitely got a rapid boil there. Oh, that looks good. That looks like pesto. Yeah, it is, I think. Oh, I like pesto. That's vegetables that smell so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, the meat got seared. It's in the oven finishing. Wow, what are we going to do with that boy? Okay, what we're mainly doing now, we're letting the vegetables kind of cook up a little bit. And, uh, I actually turned the heat off, they're about done. Making our sauce, stirring it up. What we're actually doing now is waiting for the meat to finish up. It's got, uh, timing wise, about 2 minutes 40 seconds to go. Temperature wise, it's uh, up to 127. So it looks like it's okay, that's done. We gotta take the meat, put it on the plate, and get her ready to go to eat. I hope you didn't lose that whole video. Now I was looking at it, it just went black. Yeah. So here's our meat all done. Let's go ahead and kind of cut it up here. I'll uh, just cut it in what we consider a half. I don't know. Okay, now we'll add a little bit of vegetable to that. Well, it's all of a sudden quiet in here. Yeah, what happened? TV die? Yeah, I was working on the editor.
crazy. No, it's sauce. You know, like always. Made from light cream. I don't want the sauce to go flat. It looked like gravy. Well, go ahead and sit down and grab you a oh, plate. Okay. It's one about you time. Want. It's get, about time. Get you a fork and a steaky knife and shut your mouth for pig sight for one. We're going to try this. I'll tell you what, these veggies smell really good. I'm going to try this first this time. Mmm. Some kind of sauce on them is really good. Sauce was just uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. Mmm. Good. No sauce on it. It just cooked. The sauce is what went on the meat. Mmm. Mmm. Meat's not real tough either. Thought it would be. Very good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Try a green bean. Oh, yeah, John. This is five stars. What do you think? Tastes pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. A hunk of this meat now. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Love mm. that meat. That is good tenderloin. Dirty Biker Food Review.